All right guys, today is going to be my longest journey on my trip all around Cebu Island so far because today's journey is according to Google Maps four hours but yeah usually when Google Maps tells me it's four hours usually I take a little bit longer time because I make stops, I fly my drone, I film so I think it's gonna be like a five maybe to six hour journey but I think it will be worth it because I'm going to stay in a really nice place today so really looking forward to that so yeah feel free to virtually join me on today's journey all along the west coast of Cebu Island so I think it will be a quite beautiful journey once again here and yeah it is already 12 p.m. I'm starting rather late today because I had to do some work in the morning I uploaded a new video for you guys and it actually rained for the past two hours you can probably see it the roads are really wet but I think that's a good thing because usually it only rains once a day here so maybe we will be safe from the rain for the rest of the day oh there's a man getting a haircut here all oh, right by the road okay cool so I'm looking forward let's hit the road let's go and yeah, I am starting today's journey in the small town of Moalboal, where I stayed for the past two days. You maybe saw the previous episode where I failed a little bit with the sardine run here. That was a little bit of a failure, but uh, I still had a good time here. And yeah, this is the, yeah, like the city center. I wouldn't really call it a city, more like a small town. But yeah, this is the main road here. And yeah, we're going to continue up north now towards the northern end of Cebu Island. And literally five minutes into the journey and it's starting to rain. Not sure if you can see it on the camera. It's not really heavy at the moment, but my experience tells me usually when it starts to rain a little bit, a few minutes later, it's going to pour down on me. Um, so I don't want to make a stop already after five minutes, you know. But if you have a look over there on the left side, it looks actually sunny. And on the right side, it looks cloudy, but we're heading more towards the left side. Um, I don't really mind a little bit of rain. I don't mind to get wet. It's just that I'm worried about my uh, electronics. So I have my electronics in this bag, for example. But um, yeah, if it gets too strong, then I can put out my raincoat, cover the bags, cover myself. So that would actually be okay. Ah, but still the journey is of course more enjoyable when we have sunshine, you know. But yeah, let's see. If it rains, it rains. I mean, we can't change it, so I don't complain about things I cannot change. It is what it is. All right, I just saw a shop over there which requires a U-turn because we have coconuts there and I think an amazing view on the left side oh yeah fresh coconuts here hello you have coconuts okay can I get one coconut how about you have uh, fresh open Fresh? That, that would be the best, yeah. Oh yeah, have a look over the valley here. That looks beautiful. In the distance you can see the ocean, that's where I'm coming from. And yeah, as you can notice, the sun is shining again, so it didn't really start to rain a lot. Ah, and she has an interesting little uh, shop here. Hello, hello. Oh, hello. I can choose one? Ah, I think all the same, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> I trust you to choose one. You know which one is the best. Okay. How much is one coconut? You can sit there. 30. 30 pesos? Uh, okay. Ah, I don't want to sit because I'm sitting on the motorbike all day. So now uh, I can stretch my legs a little bit. Actually, let me put the bag down here. Yeah, so I am on the road Where for... Are you uh, oh, I don't know the name. Uh, north, northern island, uh, northern part of the island. What? Yeah, I don't know the name of the place. 
But it's like uh, two and a half hours. Uh, you can go in Marigundon or in Apulapo? I don't know the name. No. <laughs> I forgot the name of the place. But somewhere in the north. I like two know. and a half more hours. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the road for like one and a half hours now. How about the south? Yeah, that's, I'm coming from Moalboal. Ah, you come from Moalboal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very beautiful there. Mm. Ah, the coconut is already uh, almost open. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? You, you call it Bako, right? Buko? What was the name for coconut again? Oh, thank you. Bako? Coconut? Coconut. How, how do you call coconut? Lobi. Lobi? Oh, Lobi. Lobi. Oh, that's a new word for me. <laughs> Bisaya. Bisaya. Oh, oh Bisaya Lobi. 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 Oh. And Tagalog? Tagalog Buku. Buku. That was the word I learned oh. before. Ah, oh, look how big it is. Oh, it's very big. Is the, the coconut coming from around here? Oh, here. Oh? This is the coconut. Ah, down there. Oh, down there. Ah, okay. There's so many coconut though. Ah, oh. okay, that's nice. Okay, then uh, let's try it. Yeah. Oh, this is a lot of uh, coconut juice in here. Check it out, the coconut here, with this view in the background, out here in the Philippines. What a beautiful day, right? Okay, that was very good. I can just leave it here? Okay, the coconut is all empty. Actually, let's have a look at the shop. It was actually quite uh, interesting that she sells so many different things here, basically in the middle of nowhere in the valley here. You have so many things here. It's like a, like a mini 7-Eleven here. <laughs> Even a shampoo and body lotion, crackers, snacks. Oh, even even uh, flip flops here for the for the beach. And yeah, it's just a little uh, construction like this here. Probably or most likely uh, self-built. I like the shop. I like the shop. Yeah, it's so easy to basically set up your own business here. And I mean, it's a road here that seems to be quite... Uh, uh, how do you say that in English? A lot of cars driving by. So why not uh, putting up a little shop here, selling coconuts, drinks, snacks, and some flip-flops. <laughs> All right, I like these little shops here. Okay, salamat. Thank you very much. Ah. Okay, that was a lovely stop. Let's hit the road again. Oh, it looks like rain. Oh, you see the, the dark clouds over there? And I just heard some thunder in the background. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, let's hope for the best. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, that was a lovely stop. Fresh coconuts are always nice, refreshing. Whew, nice. Okay, let's continue. And yeah, if I look on my Google Maps, I'm going to the right. So basically into the dark looking clouds. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, I made it to a small town called Toledo, which is um, yeah, basically halfway through today's journey. And I'm actually hungry and it would be nice to uh, sit somewhere with air condition and what do I see on the left side the golden arches McDonald's <laughs> yeah excuse me for going to McDonald's <laughs> but uh, it's just a very convenient uh, break now they have air condition they have have fast food so I'm going to actually make a stop at McDonald's. This is going to be my first McDonald's in the Philippines. I very, very rarely eat at McDonald's. But I'm just basically uh, just very keen for the air condition. Park over there. 
Ah, okay. Ah, the guy asked me to park over there. Okay. Okay, salamat. Ah, uh, cash at the counter. Are you, will deliver are you will deliver to the table? Yes. Sir. Oh, okay. Okay, salama, thank you. All right, yeah, what should I say? McDonald's is McDonald's. It's the same all over the world. But yeah, well, a 20 minute break now, much needed. Oh, what is this? Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah, it's okay, no, no problem. No problem. I'm able to get out here. Um, so, uh, the break was actually much needed. I'm on the road for like two, two and a half hours already. So, uh, yeah, it starts to get a little bit uncomfortable being that long on the bike. And yeah, according to Google Maps, um, we have one hour and 37 minutes left on the road. Okay, let's hit the road again. Okay. Okay. Parking fee. Parking fee. How much? No? Parking fee, yes or no? No? No parking fee? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. So how much? Not sure what that was. The old man wanted parking fee. But the other man said, no, no, there's no parking fee here. And then the, the guy who originally asked me for the parking fee was looking at him really, really mean. So not sure what uh, what's right or wrong now. I can't imagine that McDonald's has a parking fee usually, so not sure what that was. But anyway, okay. One hour, 37 minutes left. The weather is okay so far. I'm feeling good after the break again. We're ready for another hour and a half on the bike. Oh, that was an accident. The two cars uh, hit each other. But uh, as far as I could see, nobody was hurt. Just the cars got damaged. Oh, okay, that was the first accident that I saw here in the Philippines. And it seems to be a busy little place here. So many people on the road. I think all the children that you see are school kids. So probably school just ended and they are on their way home. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's right the, the color that you have to wear to schools here because all the kids I see are all wearing white. Maybe that's the, the color that you are supposed to wear in school here. Oh, I need another break. Oh, oh my god. Hello? Little dog. <sighs> Yeah, I know it's just a few minutes for you in the video, but for me it's uh, hours and hours here on the road. Whew! <laughs> it is uh, five o'clock now. Uh, so that's, yeah, five hours on the road now. Oh, I need to stretch a little bit. Ah. Oh, we have some goats here. Check it out. Ah, quite a lot actually. Over there, there are more. Then a little uh, lake here. I have to say that uh, the journey today was quite diverse. Some parts were along the ocean, some parts a little bit in the mountains, some parts like this. Over there I also, I think I saw some rice paddies. Yeah, riding through little towns, little villages. Oh, beautiful ride once again. Oh, something is wrong with my knee.
Okay, the last leg of the journey. The last 30 minutes on the road. Whew. And it's also quite exactly 30 minutes until sunset. So let's see if we can see a sunset up on arrival. Oh, and by the way, this is the sunset situation of today. So uh, once again, I am not really lucky to uh, witness a beautiful epic sunset. I'm not able to show you an epic sunset. It's uh, unfortunate. I'm in the Philippines for over one month now and I haven't seen one single epic sunset. And this country is uh, famous for epic sunsets. But uh, I'm not really lucky with that. At least not so far. But uh, it still looks looks actually quite nice right the funny thing is you see the people in the background they are standing in the water although they are like pretty far outside so it seems to be very shallow uh, probably would have been a nice color to see like earlier with the uh, sun shining a beautiful spot actually all right, Durhan Wright Beach Resort. That is my hotel for today. And yeah, it is uh, almost six o'clock now. That means almost six hours on the road today. So if you have ever been on a scooter, on a little motorbike like this for six hours, then you probably know how I feel at the moment. Ah need to stretch myself really looking forward for or to a cool drink not really that hungry at the moment to be honest which surprises me because all I had after breakfast was McDonald's ah, okay hello good evening yes I do Let's see the front officer, right side, same thing I do. Uh, so check in over there? Oh yes, um, what are the huh? parking there? Parking here? Oh. Okay. Hello. Okay, so motorbike parking here. Okay, then let's check it out. Okay, so check in over there? Right side, sir, same thing On the right side, okay. Thank you. All right, welcome to Durhan Wright Beach Resort. I'm actually not sure what the name of this area is, but we are almost at the northern end of Cebu Island now. Oh, there's even a little uh, church here on the area. Okay. And yeah, I guess this is usually an epic sunset location, but not with my luck. Let me put on the mask. I have a reservation. Uh, what name, sir? Uh, Ken. Ken. I uh, texted you on Facebook earlier today. Ken Dusha. Ken Dusha, right? Yeah. One room for our new rooms. Yeah, right. Or one night stay only, sir. That's right. Without breakfast, you yeah. have the promo. You have breakfast here. We have uh, our rate for with breakfast here is three thousand one hundred twenty-five. Good for two packs. That is almost double the price for breakfast. Yes. That is a very expensive breakfast. <laughs> it's okay for you without breakfast, but we have also a restaurant here. You can avail also our breakfast. Uh, so I can just get food there in the morning? Yes, the, the, amount is, the range amount is 200 and 300. Yeah, that sounds more like a normal okay. breakfast price. Okay. You only? Yeah, then only me. Any fill up, sir? Okay. What do I need to fill out? Ah. All, everything? Your name, contact number, uh -huh. okay. and then signature over here. Okay. Yeah, this looks like a new room. Yes. Ah. We have Wi-Fi here. Yes, we have Wi-Fi. Okay. Our Wi-Fi password there is save. Save. Save as the password. Save as in as if we. As if the name of Wi-Fi is Durhan White Beach Resort. Okay. When you uh, click the voucher, then you can put in the password save. Okay. S -A -V -E. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. 
All right. Not sure what is the sound. Do you hear that? Hmm. Sounds like some animals. But anyway, okay. Let me give you a quick room tour. So this room is called New Room. Probably it's freshly renovated. How do I get the key here? Come on, what's happening with the key? We'll figure that out later. Um, okay, so this is the room here. I'm paying 1,800 pesos here. They wanted over 3,000 pesos for included breakfast. So that's almost double the price just for breakfast. That sounds crazy, I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I think the room is quite okay. I have an aircon here. Looks really nice. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> After six hours on the road, oh, this is what I need. But well, actually, I need a shower. I feel like a shower. Oh, actually, let's have a look at the shower. Um, okay, light. All right. Where's the shower? <laughs> what is this? Ah, okay. So the shower is like this. That's interesting. Okay. What? Something is missing here, I feel like. <laughs> okay, at least there's a shower. All right. Okay, yeah, I think that uh, will be all right. Totally all right for the, for the night. And the beach is in uh, walking distance. And good morning, guys. It is the next morning now. I feel very good. I mean, the sun is shining. We have a... Beautiful beach here, very clear water. The location is really, really nice of this place. And yeah, I would like to give you some uh, yeah behind the scenes of my road trip, how I'm organizing the days, how I actually booked this hotel, because I think that can be quite helpful for some of you guys if you are traveling as well. But first of all, I just had my breakfast here, a dish called Pinoy pasta. So I had pasta for breakfast and it was actually, uh, I would say like spaghetti bolognese but it was called Pinoy Pasta, but very delicious. And yeah, let me tell you how I actually booked this hotel, because this hotel is not on booking.com, not on Agoda. And actually, if you have a look on this area, on booking.com or Agoda, there are no hotels. Um, but that happens actually quite often when I'm traveling in more remote areas, more rural areas or areas that are not super touristy, you know. Sometimes you won't find any hotels on the big booking sites like Booking or Agoda. But usually that doesn't mean that there are no hotels in the area. So what I usually do then, uh, I go to Google Maps and I check out uh, the hotels there, read the reviews, if I like the reviews. Reviews are usually very important for me. Um, I sort always for the most recent reviews. If a hotel has reviews that are like years old, they are not really important anymore because a lot of things can change in a few years. So I always look for recent reviews recent good reviews and what i then did in this case was i contacted the hotel via their facebook page most of the hotels have a facebook page or another way where you can contact them directly so i sent them a message yesterday morning on facebook ask for their room rates and for pictures of the rooms they provided me with uh, room rates and pictures i like the rate i like the pictures so i booked via their facebook page and yeah that's actually what i do quite often when i'm in more remote less touristy areas so yeah when you're traveling in areas like this and you don't find any accommodations on booking or agoda uh, don't hesitate to check out google maps and yeah to tell you a little bit about my daily routine during this uh, trip what i usually do in the mornings is uh, planning the day like i'm very spontaneous these days it's nothing really planned ahead. Usually when I wake up in the morning, I don't know where I will sleep in the evening. So in this case also, I sat down here for like half an hour now, uh, planned today's route, choose today's accommodation for the night. And I'm going to travel to the northernmost point of the island today. So I'm very excited for that. And yeah, that's how I usually spend my mornings and check this out. I just see that we have little pineapples here. I think it's pineapples but uh, not really grown yet. Oh no, it's not pineapple, I think. Oh no, it's not pineapple. Not sure what it is, but I don't think it's pineapples. But it looks very similar. Huh. 
interesting so yeah maybe these uh, tips are helpful for you guys if you're planning to travel in less touristy areas as well just check out uh, google maps and facebook and usually you will find accommodations there and yeah for me it's almost time to check out now continue the road trip very excited for another day here on the road on this beautiful island and if you haven't seen the previous video from the road trip check it out right here stay healthy stay positive and then see you on the next episode ciao guys